Hey guys, I'm Dominic from Magura marketing team um, and I just show you our new anniversary break. Um, this year it's all about our anniversary and to celebrate our 125 years uh, company anniversary we do have a special limited version of our MT7 which comes with a uh, chrome caliper with the anniversary logo on it and our special HC3 lever. Um, and that's also our biggest topic this year. Um, we I think that there is uh, no ergonomic which suits to all segments and, and riding styles. So we do have five several level options for you. Um, um, made from carbon, from aluminium, one finger levers and also longer two finger levers. So just find your lever, customize your brake and um, be happy on the trails. The next brake we got is our uh, cross country flagship. It was developed with the feedback of our athletes like Annika Langwart, Specialized Racing. Um, it's equipped with our new one finger carbon lever. It's uh, made from stitched carbon, so um, really, really nice, really light. Um, it comes with 195 grams, so it's our lightest brake in our setup. comes with uh, um, waistline yellow um, covers, clean design. And yeah, just our flagship with new ergonomics for 2019. Hi, this is Cody from TRP here to show you the new Trail G Spec Trail SLC. Um, this is our new trail bike, trail enduro specific brake. Uh, uses a similar caliper design as the G Spec Quadium, our uh, downhill brake we worked with Aaron Gwyn to make. Uh, this uses a 14, two 14 millimeter pistons and two 16 millimeter pistons to offer slightly better modulation uh, than the downhill brake, a little better at trail bike speeds. Uh, new lever design, it's a little slimmer, a little lighter, plastic cap shaves, uh, shaves some weight. Uh, same lever design and shape as the G-Spec Quadium, but this is actually a carbon fiber lever blade. Um, we kind of kept it low-key, you can't really tell it's carbon. Indexed reach adjust, uh, hybrid pistons, meaning the outer is uh, steel, the inner is ceramic. The outer steel gives us uh, less friction, better smooth, smoother, um, better durability, and the hybrid, the, the composite inside gives us uh, better heat dissipation, heat management, all that. Uh, iSpec 2 compatible and then we've got an adapter to go from iSpec 2 to Matchmaker as well so you can direct mount either shifting system. I think that's about it. We've also got two new versions of the Quadium. Uh, we took the G-Spec Quadium and changed it to G-Spec DH. Uh, same silver brake, the one that Aaron Gwynn's been racing, winning World Cups on. And then we've got a higher end version called the G-Spec DHR which comes with a carbon lever blade, an all black gloss finish, uh, super nice brake, a little lighter. Um, and then we've got the painted Quadium which is a painted black finish, same internals, same overall performance. It's just a, a different uh, procedure on the finish, which saves some money. Allows you, us to offer this at a 300 US dollar brake set, um, whereas the higher end version is going to be a 460, and then the G-Spec Quadium that everyone's known is sitting right in the middle at 400. Uh, allows us to expand our brake line and give you some options depending on how much money you want to spend and what kind of features are important to you. Uh, carbon lever blades should be pretty nice in the winter for a lot of people. Hi, my name is Ben Hilston. I'd like to tell you about the new Shimano XDR brakes. Here we have the new XDR four piston brake with much greater braking performance. Uh, it's got the same uh, reach adjust and free stroke uh, adjust, tool free adjust that is, uh, performance that you'd expect from XDR. Uh, but the braking performance from these four piston calipers is a, a big increase on what it was for previous XDR. We've also got some new pad designs as well, um, which aid the greater braking performance. So for enduro riding, um, you have much more confidence from new XDR brakes. Now let's move over to the cross country brakes and take a look at those. So uh, Shimano XDR cross country brakes are designed for cross country racing. Um, so really lightweight performance from these brakes. It's a two piston design, um, which you can see here. Um, so straight hose connection um, aids greater braking performance again from XDR cross country brakes. So for cross country braking, high performance cross country braking, then um, XDR is your answer. As well as braking performance, we've also got a new iSpec standard for the way the brakes and the shifters or the dropper post mount together. That means that you can have now 14 millimeters of left right movement and 16 60 degrees of rotational movement so you can position those controls on the cockpit much more to your liking.